G'day guys, Craig from the Edge Property Buyers here again. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been out to do a video here at Petrie University. Uh, a lot of people have invested money in the, in the region because of this development, uh, and a lot of people still are. Uh, it really is coming along well. Uh, it officially opened, well the first stage opened in 2020, obviously with a few hiccups from COVID. Um, we've just recently had stage uh, two, approved by uh, Morton Bay Council and um, that's going to be another couple of more buildings uh, with labs, some sports science facilities, um, a new gym etc uh, and that's going to go in sort of behind me here as well. Um, over the back here behind, you can't quite see it here, but behind that fence there they've, they've put in like a, a 12 million dollar uh, water park for the local community um, you can probably just catch it in the background just there um, and of course we've got the, the mill precinct just behind me here uh, which hasn't really started which is going to be a, 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 a private uh, investment where you're going to see engineering firms uh, and startups and new businesses coming in and working with the university uh, and creating jobs in the area and it's really good facilities for this region. We've seen really big changes to the property market. Behind me you can see the Petrie Rail Station. That was probably the first stage uh, was when of development around here. The change was when the Morton Bay Rail Link linking out to, Red, uh, to Kipper Ring from, uh, from Petrie. That was open sort of 2017. Um, and, it, and it's just gone gangbusters ever since. So we're gonna see a lot more house prices back Back when 2017, you were looking around that sort of 350, 400, uh, you could pick up a house here. Now you're sort of looking at that six, seven, eight um, for houses, and they're in strong demand. Uh, and I can see the market's going to continue uh, to move up. So I think we're going to see some more consistent growth, not just for um, this location, but I think for Brisbane as a whole um, and rents you know, are going to rise up again as well. They're going to start catching up to the purchase prices. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer because you can't put a, uh, the rental price up during a lease. So uh, as soon as that happens, we're finding, because the incredibly low vacancy rates across Brisbane, rents are rising from 50 to $100 a week at the end of every lease. So uh, we're going to continue to see that. So the yields will pick up. Um, there's definitely strong activity in the region. Uh, most reasonable quality houses are selling within a week. Um, you know, they'll come to market midweek uh, and, and be sold on the Saturday or the Sunday. So it's, it's definitely, uh, as much as we're hearing that Sydney and Melbourne markets are cooling off a little bit, it's still going strong uh, throughout Morton Bay and, and most of Brisbane as well. So I think we're going to continue to see that through the end of the year. Uh, there might be a few pauses with uh, elections and a couple of interest rate hikes. But, um, the, you know, all the drivers are that up here, um, it, it's not stopping this market. It's continuing uh, at, at a more steady pace than, than last year, but it's, it's certainly a strong market. And, and I think that's going to continue on. So if you're thinking about investing up here or moving up to, to Morton Bay or, or Brisbane or the Sunshine Coast, click the link below. Uh, we can have a chat, just book in an obligation free chat and we're more than happy to run through your property plans and your scenario and if we can help you we can. If we can't help we'll point you in the right direction to maybe someone who can help you and, and get you on your property journey. So happy investing, happy buying if you're moving up uh, and we'll speak to you in the near future. Goodbye.